So a couple weeks ago, I reached out on Instagram and said you guys could ask me anything as I've received thousands of comments over the last couple of months. There were a lot of great responses and I'm super excited to answer them. So let's just jump right in and welcome to the Q&A. Oh, what you do to me Like lightning when I'm swimming in the sea From the very first time we loved From the very first time we touched Walking on wires and power lines You put your body on top of mine Every time that you lift me up To the heaven and stars above one of my favorite questions you asked was, what inspires me? Where do I pull inspiration from to create videos? And the truth is, there are a lot of different things and people that inspire me. But the one thing that sparks creativity in me like no other is music. There's an energy when you hold me, when you touch me, it's so powerful. I can feel it when you hold me, when you touch me, it's so powerful. For music, there are feature films, documentaries, other videographers, and even commercials I draw inspiration from. And all of these sources fused together influence the videos you see me create on this channel. When traveling, there's a lot of things that come together to make your experience a memorable one, like indulging in the culture or trying something new. When my friends and I go to these places, we always try to incorporate and seek out these new experiences. What is your most memorable moment from traveling around the world? Dude, that's hard to narrow down to just one. Of my favorite questions. I have a bunch more right here that I'm ready to answer, so let's just jump right in. What I wanted to do was clear a couple things up first. I've gotten a ton of messages saying, I watched your Why I Traveled the World this year video, and it's my dream to travel too. How did you do it, and how do you have all of this money to travel? So a lot of people are getting the misconception that it was my dream to travel the world, and that's why I made that video, when in reality, it was the accumulation of all these years built up from when I was a kid of wanting to be a filmmaker when I grow up. It just so happens that travel was a part of that journey, and I'm super thankful for it. In response to some of the comments saying, you just do this because you're rich, I can assure you I'm not. I pretty much saved all my money from working part-time jobs in high school to fund my camera equipment. And from there, I used my camera equipment to get jobs, which allowed me to sustain my travels. So yeah, I hope that clears up things a little bit and let's just get right into all the other questions. When did you realize you wanted to make films and how did you start? It's kind of a long story, but I'll try and keep it short. There were pretty much three things that came together for me to start making films. YouTube had a big part of my journey and I loved watching YouTube videos when I was a kid. And when I was 12, my buddies and I came across this channel called Extreme Flippers and they made videos of them doing crazy tricks on the trampoline. And it was that same year I saw the GoPro HD Hero 2 launch video and I knew right away that I needed to get a GoPro and start filming with it. My friends and I made videos of us on the trampoline, skiing, and I was the one editing the videos and I took inspiration from Call of Duty After Effects montages and these GoPro edits and I merged them into my own. And that's kind of the driving force behind what made me start making videos in the first place. Then high school came around and I didn't make videos for a while. And then I graduated high school and went off to university and that's when I came across Sam Colder's travel videos. And Sam Colder's videos reignited that drive in me to start making films again. And for the past two years, I've tried to make my way into the niche of travel videography. So that's kind of the short story of my early interest in videography and as of late and how they merged together to bring me to where I'm at today. What camera do you use and what's your current setup while traveling? So I travel a lot with my buddy Connor and we share a lot of the gear that we both own with each other. It just so happens that I was borrowing some of his gear on a shoot. So what I can do is show you the gear that both him and I bring on our travels. I'm filming on my camera right now, so I can't show you it, but what I can do is show you Connor's. It's a Blackmagic 4K and it's what I use as well. He has a 24 to 70 on his and I have a Sigma 18 to 35 on mine. I also have two other lenses I primarily use and it's a Takina 11 to 16 and Connor has a 70 to 200 from Canon. As far as gimbals go, I use a Ronin S and we also shoot handheld as well. I bring a Mavic 2 with me and just recently I got an FPV drone with a GoPro Hero 8. 
way on it. So yeah, as far as equipment goes, that's pretty much everything and all of that just fits in our camera bags. What do you edit your videos on? Um, I edit my videos in After Effects, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve for color grading. What is your favorite country you've been to? That's a tough one. There are a lot of countries I visited that have connected to me in different ways. Norway, I love the mountains there. Bali is a great place to just hang out and chill with like-minded people. And Hawaii is special to me because that's the first place I went on vacation with just my friends. What are five necessary items you always have with you when traveling? My buddy Connor McCann showed me this one, but baby wipes are essential. Reusable water bottle, poncho, disposable film camera, and a headlamp. How do you get and save money for traveling? I want to do something like you, but I'm just 16 now and I don't know where to start and where to go. I mean, there are a ton of different ways to get money to start traveling. When I was 16, I was washing dishes at my local breakfast chain. I was working at a sport retail store, refing soccer games, and working banquet events at my local golf course. My best advice would be try and refrain from spending it on materialistic things and save up for those things that really matter to you. How do I earn money as a filmmaker? So I'm a freelance filmmaker and I make my income through a lot of different strands. Most of that income would be contract client work. And now that I have some sort of YouTube audience, YouTube is starting to become my source of income as well. Is it worth it to study filmmaking? To be honest with you, I don't know if I could give you a straight up answer to that. I never went to film school myself, so I wouldn't really know. The one thing I can say though is, do you know which strand of filmmaking you wanna go into? If you wanna be working on large film crews and sets, then maybe film school is something to do. Otherwise, if you're trying to do something like I do, then teaching yourself is a valid option as well. What camera for videos would you recommend for beginners? I'll never not recommend a GoPro because it's so easy to set up and just point and shoot at your subject. A really important thing for new filmmakers is ease of use. So if you're getting a camera like a Canon or a Sony with good autofocus, then you won't have to worry about that. Pretty much just a camera that'll allow you to be in the moment and capture good times. Do you have any advice for aspiring filmmakers and content creators? The best advice I could give, and it'll sound kind of cliche, is don't get into filmmaking for the wrong reason. People will catch the vibe quickly and notice that your work isn't authentic or true to yourself. Practice like hell and focus on trying to make your work stand out. How old are you? I'm 21, but I turned 22 in about a month. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Honestly, I don't know about 10 years. Um, I would love to be working on some meaningful, big productions, maybe with professional athletes or something to do with wildlife. Or maybe in 10 years, I'll be able to document space. Who knows? How important is networking and can you speak on it? I'll kind of just go through my mindset related to networking in this industry. When I first started out, it wasn't my intent to reach out to other creators and be going like, hey, let's do this and that. Hey, let's connect. My mindset entering this industry was more of, let's create the best possible work you can. And from there, hopefully people will reach out to you. And that's kind of what's been working out so far. But that being said, a lot of the opportunities I've had are because of the connections I've made in the last year or so. So I can't really disregard networking. It's super important in this industry. What place changed your view on the world and why? There are two places that come to mind, Mongolia and Kenya, because it was great to see how happy people could be with so little. And it really just brings into perspective the things you take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis. That's it for today. Thank you everyone for sending in your questions. I had a ton of fun answering them. I hope everyone's staying safe out there and thank you as always for your continued support and I'll catch you guys in the next one.